I just wanted to show you how easy it is to cover a light shade with a gradient so it's not straight. It seems tricky but it's actually really easy. So we start at the seam there. You get your fabric. I've got some lovely dark blue Laura Ashley Queensbury fabric. You put your seam on the line. Make sure you've got enough fabric so you're just basically going round like that and I have. So I'm going to make a mark at that seam and uh, that seam here and I'm going to start at the little circle here and I'm just going to go around following the just let the lamp fall don't try and maneuver it just go round and round and round till you get to the other to the seam again and make your mark there and here. And I want to go back round, make my mark, put my seam on the marks there. Okay. Then I'm going to go around the outside. Again, just make sure you're not moving it at all, but just let it flow all the way around till you get back to the seam again and make a mark and to get a ruler from that point to that point on the mark and just mark it up now I'm using pen but you can use pencil because I'm just using pen so you can see it better you can do this on paper if you want and then cut it out and then pin your paper to the fabric. I don't know if you can see but basically that is the shape. That's the shape you want to cut out. So when we're cutting it out we want to leave about half an inch at the top, half an inch at the bottom. This is to roll around the top and roll around the bottom. And also about half an inch on the side because we're going to fold that so you get a nice neat edge here. So, go ahead and cut it. Okay, then I have my cut out fabric. Lovely. So what I then want to do is find my seam. Actually, first of all, you want to fold this end down, the first end that you did, fold it down like so and iron it. It's important to iron so you get a nice neat edge. of fabric so it's not directly on the table. Okay, so once I've pressed it, and you can press your fabric as well, which makes it nice and neat. This one is quite difficult to iron, but So I've got my nice neat edge. I want to start with the opposite end. Okay. What I do is find the seam directly there to there. And I want to glue that on first. Now make sure you pull your tub fabric tight. Use some fabric glue, which is just really easy to use. You basically want to go all the way around, pulling it really tight, the fabric. As you can see, it's fitting really well. And when you get round to here, you want to pull it so that the seam 
is nice and neat along there. Don't worry about going around the corners just yet, just get the, the whole of the base done. We can go around the corners later on at the top and at the bottom. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. around the bottom with it. You're doing bits at a time and you need to pull the fabric as much as you can around the corner. So pull and hold there. So I don't know if you can see here. So down. Pull and so I'm pulling the fabric and stretching it around the corner. Pull it and stretch really can't stress enough how to pull the fabric tight because there's nothing worse than having a bubble in between or something so it's really tight. I'm using pegs to hold it as I go along. You don't really need it but just in case the uh, glue isn't as good as you would hope. So I'm carrying on round here and I Okay, so now that I've glued the bottom and the top and I'm happy with it, it's all nice and straight and there's no lumps and bumps, which is great. I want to, to neaten up these edges here, so I've got a lovely little craft knife. It's really sharp, so that's great, so you have to be really careful you don't cut through the lampshade. So what you do is you, you've got this little metal trim there that you can sort of feel and all you want to do is go around tucking the knife right in but being careful not to just see if it's cutting as it goes along it's cut a bit there you see so you just need to put a bit more pressure on but again careful because you just literally want to make sure you're not cutting the light shade and like like this you go, go all the way around some of it can just be tucked in, it doesn't need to be cut, um, but some of it does. And once you've done that, you've got a lovely neat edge all around here. Um, and that's what you want to achieve really. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Okay, now I've trimmed all the edges so it's really lovely and neat all the way around and at the top it's all glued and it's dry. Lampshade now. If we try it okay, um, so now the lamp is ready you can leave it as it is. Normally I do just leave it like this however just gonna give you some ideas that you can do. Um, you can pop a trim on the bottom, like so. That can go all the way around, sort of add something to it, and all along the top too. That's the sort of little trim that you can buy from the haberdashery or Dunelm. You could even try doing one with some sort of crystal beads and go along the bottom just along the bottom for this one. Um, you wouldn't want to do this on the top, but obviously. Put it along the bottom like so. That might look nice if you've got a, a glass base. Um, this is really in now, people. You see a lot of cushions with these, these sort of baubles on the bottom. So that look can look pretty good too. Pop all that along the bottom. Or if you want to go really funky and have something completely different, quite retro, then have a completely different colour. You can do that trim all along the bottom, perhaps orange or yellow. Yellow would look nice. And um, all along the top. So there we have it. How to cover a lampshade with your favourite fabric on a gradient.
it's really easy to do takes you about maximum an hour once you've got all your things ready. All right.